Our coverage continuing here from Piscataway. Dave, Jerry, Howard, pleased to be joined by Eric Legrand, Rutgers color analyst, the only man in school history ever to have his number retired. Got a chance to watch practice with us today. We do this at every stop. The best thing you saw today was what, Howard Griffith? Art Satowski, the quarterback, the young guy. Uh, listen, he's going to make mistakes and he's going to have some growing pains, but the upside is absolutely there. He's poised in the pocket. He seems to have uh, really command of the huddle, and I really like what he was able to do, particularly down in the red zone. Yeah, down in the red zone is the best thing I saw today. The offense pretty much dominated the defense. You know, the offense obviously wants to get six points. The defense wants to hold him as they kick a field goal, but the way I saw the offense, you know, moving today, I was very impressed the way they were able to score touchdowns and get behind some of those defensive backs I was talking about earlier who are going to have to make that defense go for the Scarlet Knights. Defensive guy, giving the offense some credit. I, I am. I'm giving the offense some Reluctantly. credit. Reluctantly. <laughs> I gave credit where credit's due. There I, you I, go. <laughs> well, you know, you look at the line of scrimmage, Eric, and the depth in the offensive line. You know, this is Coach Ash's third year, uh, especially in this offense, a, t a traditional pro formation offense. You've got to be good up front, and the depth between today and the first year Coach Ash is significantly better. It'll The quality will get better, and they'll continue to build. But they got a lot of offensive linemen at camp, and that's a really good thing. Uh, we were watching them at the very beginning, and they were lining up four deep <laughs> in some spots. And if you've got quality depth at that position, and as you say, particularly in an offense that wants to run the ball at you downhill a little bit and be more of a pro style, that helps a ton. Uh, Eric was kind of touching on the secondary. I think it's a really good group, guys. I mean, I think can stack up so. with anybody in this league. So that was probably the best thing that, that stood out to me was the athleticism. There's some good depth there, too. A lot of different pieces they can move around. I, I think that's a really good group. And remember, Chris Ash is a secondary coach. I mean, and for him to have a chance to work with those guys along with the defensive coaches, it's impressive. Eric, I'm interested in knowing from you, you're around this program so much. How have you seen it develop now? We're year three under Coach Ash. What are the biggest differences you've seen? Well, the size of the guys now. You see how big some of these guys I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up to practice. And I'm like, golly, like, look how big some of these guys. Isaiah Wharton, even, even down in his hips, are putting on weight, which is awesome to see the development of the program because when you play in the Big Ten at that level, I need some big guys, and just like you said, the depth coach is huge. The right. depth for that, what he had from when he first got here to now, is truly amazing. And I just think that they're just going to continue to succeed and get better. You look at the schedule, I think that's one of the best things, too, particularly early on, opportunity to build some momentum. Absolutely. You know, you start off with, you know, Texas State. You got to go out there. You got to get a victory. And then you get Ohio State. You know, we're going to try to match them up. You play with them early. You never know what could happen. But then those games where you get Buffalo and Kansas, you got to win those out-of-conference games. And that can set the momentum going forward into your season and into that Big Ten play, which is huge. No doubt. Always a pleasure to visit with Eric Legrand. Thanks a lot for your time. Back to Rick in Chicago.